I thought Blender 4.2 completely deleted Bloom out of the viewport, but I found a sneaky little feature that allows you to add Bloom back into the viewport and so much more. And I'm about to show you how to use it. But first, welcome to the Comfy Mug channel. My name is Christian, and I spend countless hours learning how to make anime stuff in Blender so that you don't have to. So make sure to subscribe with notifications enabled so you don't miss out, and check out my Patreon if you want to support me and get anime assets in return for as low as $2 a month. The link is in the description, and I hope you guys enjoy. Now, in the 4.2 update, Blender moved the Bloom function from the viewport render settings and turned it into a node called Glare in the compositing tab but the Blender devs actually added a feature way before update 4.2 that allows you to see real-time compositing in your viewport. You can use this feature in both Cycles and Eevee, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using the Eevee render engine to show you how powerful this thing is. I also have a little diorama with a couple lanterns that each have an emissive shader, a second window open to the shader editor, and a third that's opened to the compositing editor with the used node nodes option enabled. Now, in the compositing editor, let's add a viewer node so that we'll be able to see our compositing effects in the viewport. And if we hold shift and right click, we can drag our cursor across the node connections to make a split, which will allow us to add a glare node that will automatically connect to both the composite and viewer outputs. Now, as usual, we're not seeing the compositing effects of our glare node in the viewport, but if we go up to the shading bar in the top right of your viewport and click on this arrow, it'll open up a new menu with a section labeled Compositor at the bottom. By default, this feature is disabled, but if we switch this to Always, we'll be able to see our compositing effects in the viewport in real time. And instead of only having one bloom look, like in previous versions, the 4.2 glare node allows us to change the type of bloom we would like in our scene. And this feature doesn't just work with Bloom. You can add any number of compositing nodes to this editor and see the effects in your viewport in real time. Want to change the contrast of all shaders and lights in your scene with just a few clicks? Done. Want to give your project a completely new color profile? You got it. Need to add a few Spider-Verse effects to your scene to make it really pop? It's just that easy. But my all-time favorite way of using this feature is to apply the Kuahara filter to my scene, which just adds that finishing touch to painterly scenes in my opinion. This feature adds a whole new world of possibilities for viewport editing, and I would love to hear what you think we should use the compositing editor for in future tutorials. So make sure to comment your thoughts below and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next tutorial. And if you want to support this channel even more, check out my Patreon and get some custom built assets. I want to say thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel and the work that I do here. You guys have blessed me in more ways than I can tell you, and I am just so thankful and humbled by your generosity. I'm thinking about opening the community Discord back up for my wonderful patrons, so let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. I hope you have a comfy day, and I'll see you here next time at the Comfy Mug.